Hey friends, welcome to my day in the life video. It's a weekday. I'm already tired from hand holding this camera. <laughs> I need to find something to hold it or somewhere to place it. Give me a second. Awesome. So where were we? So it's currently Thursday. I'm starting this video a bit late for a day in the life video because I'm starting it at 1.30 p.m. The reason why I'm starting this video right now is because I feel like my day only begins when I have my first meal of the day. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, I guess it's no secret that I love food and I love to eat. So yeah, I haven't had my food and the reason is because I am now doing intermittent fasting and I'm not loving it. Oh, by the way, if you are here only for the house tour from an empty apartment tour then jump to the timestamp that i'll put somewhere below and also i'll split this video up into chapters so you can go to that specific chapter that you want if you look down here you will see that the video is kind of split and therefore you can go to whatever to whatever section that brought you here i would love it if you would watch the whole video that would help me a lot but i understand if you want to save some time so yeah i am doing intermittent fasting i actually haven't had lunch yet which will be my first meal of today uh and what i'm going to be having today will be brown rice and egg curry i made this last night and i actually before before like a few weeks ago i didn't used to like brown rice but whenever i make it with egg curry yum and the way i make egg curry is kind of different from how people make it and if you would be interested to see that recipe please let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to do a cooking video where i show you guys i'll probably do a cooking video even if no one <laughs> showing you guys how i make this egg curry even if nobody leaves a comment but i would love to hear from you if you would like to see it so for today i'm just going to continue with my work until about 4 30 pm and Oh, I normally work from home. I don't know if you are new here. You probably don't know that. I'm currently working from home because of this Rona times. So when I'm done with work, that's when I'll go to look for a house. I'm currently looking for a house because I need to move because, and I mentioned this, I think in a previous video, um, this place, we normally don't have constant power supply we get too many blackouts as from recently and i don't like that after that i'll come back home and make dinner today i'm going to have baked potatoes and fish i love fish and i'll be showing you guys how i normally make my fish <sighs> i really can't wait just thinking about that meal i am just ooh wee so anyway that's sort of the route this video will take let me show you guys the food now and then we will continue with the video from there so this is the brown rice oh my god my <laughs> my cooker is so dirty it's disgusting and this is the egg curry it looks so yummy i can't wait to start eating this food all right so now my food is all warmed up and ready for me to eat actually it's it looks like it's a lot and it is a lot reason being my first meal of the day i like for it to be big because i have more time to digest it and also because i'm very hungry and therefore i want to satisfy myself i'm actually shaking right now because of hunger so i need to eat now <laughs> but i can wait a few seconds longer so while i eat i'm going to watch um eddie woo 
Eddie Wu is a mathematics teacher. I love mathematics. Mathematics is mathematics is i cannot talk while i'm hungry guys oh my god let me put this down and i've had to change to my phone because the battery died on the camera so i'm sorry this part of the video is not going to look all that good but yeah i was talking about eddie Wu. eddie Wu is a mathematics teacher and i love maths i don't know if many of you know this and currently my job has very little to do with what i studied because i studied mathematics and computer science in uni but because i love maths i love watching this guy he's a mathematics teacher he's so passionate about maths and he explains mathematics mathematical concepts in such a relatable and easy way that even for people who are not good at maths it's easy to understand people probably don't care about this but yeah that's what i'm doing as i eat my food if i remember you know that sense of being first from okay i'm one of the smart kids and then becoming a small fish in a very large pond and i i still recall looking at some of my peers who i didn't know at the time and you know somewhat looking down my nose and thinking i'm smarter than a whole bunch of these kids and rapidly being humbled and having to come to terms with the fact that oh i'm distinctly average in this place um, i didn't feel i mean my identity didn't come from i'm the top ranking kid so it shook me up a little bit but i was like okay cool did you feel you failed at being a nerd did you, did you uh, it, i mean i i definitely got a sense that all right here i am i, I found my my place in the nerd pecking order which was lower <laughs> down than i thought it before um but no i i just adored being around such smart you know thoughtful people i really found a lot of friends there what did you get from doing drama were you introverted and did you find drama to be a way of dealing with that i i was and remain um, heavily introverted. It's tricky as a teacher. They're formative for me and they're skills I use every single day. How did you decide on becoming a teacher then? I think it was from my experience first of loving learning and loving to see other people learn. I, I actually, in the first place, didn't want to become a teacher. I think as probably a six or seven year old, wanted to become a firefighter, uh, then discovered that having chronic asthma is not a good thing to have as a no, firefighter. And then you wanted to be a dinosaur. Yeah, that's right. And then I, to I went teacher. through those classics. Right, sort of, yeah. um, but I, I sort of, for the longest time, did actually want to go into IT. My brother was uh, studied computer science. And then the dot-com crash happened, and that made me reinvestigate. And I thought, I love learning. I love helping other people learn. If I could have the opportunity to do that for my life, for my career... That'd be a pretty good gig. You say you, you like to see people learning. See. Th does that look like something? What is that, any facial expression? What does that look like? It is. I mean, well, it's, it's, it's that. So, yeah, I'll continue watching this for the rest of my break while I eat. And then I'll continue with my work stuff until around 4.30. And that's, and that's when I'll see you guys. But then this guy just recently got 1 million subscribers and i think they gave him a placard written wootube he has a website called mrwootube.com okay i am very like i follow this guy a lot because i love mathematics and i love to see other people other people practicing it i hope i can practice my maths in the future and i should be trying to do that but I just currently my focus in my focus is on earning money <laughs> and i don't know if i if i start to pursue the path that i want to take with my maths passion i don't know if it's gonna pay well but i know it's gonna give me a lot of satisfaction and i don't know if i'll include this part in the video but if i do i hope that in the, in the future if i look at this video I will have gotten more clarity on where I want to go with my passion of maths in the future. So yeah, I'll see you guys at 4.30. <laughs> oh my god, didn't see you there. <laughs> 
why am I like this? So guys, I am back. It is now 4 p.m. The last time we saw each other, I had power and I was having my lunch. After that, I did the dishes and then I came back here to continue with my work for the day and KPLC decided that you know what it's 4 p.m. watcha to anu estima so now I don't have power and this is actually why I need to go out and look for a house so I'm gonna call my friend who referred this particular house to me. It's in Getaru near Kikuyu. So it's not very far from where I live now. It's gonna take maybe five to ten minutes for me to get there, meet up with him and then go see the house. I actually have photos and videos of the house in my phone already but I want to go see the like where the house is, the where the building is located for me to decide if it's somewhere safe and good enough like is it close to the things that I need on the regular for me to decide if I'm gonna move there it's still very early on in the month it's third of September so I feel like I have enough time to look for a how but I am suffering the earlier I can move the better let's go see the house Boom. I am trying to take a vlog <laughs> as I drive and the diversions on this road. You guys know right now Wayakiwe is under construction. Where, 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 where? Let me get there safely. Let me get there safely, guys. To Tafanya vlog siku ingine. So I just realized ni meacha mask wanyumba. Thank God for that backup that is always in the car. <laughs> Guys, this is Jamie, my friend, who is showing me the house. Oh, Zakwacha Usalimian. So the building is located a few meters off of the road that leads to Kikuyu. So you branch off to the left and you take this untamarked road. That's the building right there ahead of us. And if you guys can see the moving vehicles, that is actually the southern bypass. So this place is quite easily accessible. So that's a plus. It's also very close to Kikuyu, by the way. And this is what it looks like from the side of the where the bypass is. And yeah, very clean. It's a new building. And actually, when I went to see it, so many units were still vacant. And I'll put the information of the person you can talk to if you want to go see it for yourself. That's the road that we just came on. And this is the entrance. That's the gate. It's always locked. There is no day watchman, only a night watchman. But the caretaker is always on site. That's what it looks like from the front or where from where the gate is. So the caretaker wasn't close by when we went to... <laughs> yeah that's the parking and this is on the only parking space inside the property the caretaker say that they have plans of making the outside where i parked my car into a conducive space for someone to park so this is the first unit that i saw it is an open plan kitchen one bedroom flat uh, it was on the, I think this is the second floor. So this is what the kitchen looks like. A uh, good amount of counter space for the kitchen. That's the sink. And then uh, there's a door leading to the balcony. Not, not too much space in the balcony, but it's a decent amount of space. <laughs> Don't know why it keeps tattering. Yeah, then back in from the balcony, you can see the, what are those things called in the kitchen? And that's the sitting room. And then to the right, you have the bathroom and the bedroom. Let's see the bedroom first. So that's the bedroom. It's a decent space. 
I think it could fit a 5 by 6 bed comfortably. That's the window. It's actually quite big. And this is what their wardrobes look like. Then this is the bathroom. It is a toilet, <laughs> a combined bathroom and toilet. And then outside, right outside the bathroom, you have the, yeah, the shower is not installed. I guess that's something you have to install for yourself. It's a spacious bathroom. And yeah, the sink is Kadogo, very, very small sink. And yeah, then into the second kind of one bedroom apartment. This one is a closed kitchen, closed plan kitchen. I don't know if that's what they call them. And the sitting, the living room is very big in this one. And then there's a small, teeny, tiny corridor, and then you go to the right to where the bedroom is. This one has bigger wardrobes. It's only slightly bigger. Just the additional space where maybe you could put your longer dresses or coats. I don't know. Then the sink right outside the bathroom once again. A teeny weeny sink teeny winnick <laughs> and another toilet ladies and gentlemen yeah even in this one the shower is not installed like i said i think that is for the tenant to install for themselves and the kitchen looks similar to the other one that we just saw mm, yeah counter space and the shelves up there and the, there were two power outlets. I don't know if I, t yeah, two power outlets. They're called sockets. Yeah. And the other one down there for the cooker. And the balcony is the same size. That's the view from the balcony. I believe this was still the second floor. It looks quite serene. Not too congested. And that's what the rest of the building looks like from this particular balcony. Yeah. And something I had forgotten to show you guys. Right after the stairs, you have two these, these two gates that lead to the houses. So I think people can choose to lock this. So this is the rooftop where I believe they hang their clothes because like I said the balcony space is not big enough so uh, I don't know if they have any plans of putting in place hanging lines um, uh, people are just going, going to continue hanging lines for themselves like they have here but it, the space is very big this is a very big space and let me show you guys the views. That's the view of the Southern Bypass. That is the outside where I parked my car. I believe that's the railway line. Yeah, that's the railway line. And on this other side, let me show you what it looks like on this other side. Mm-hmm. That is what it looks like from this other side. 
check the description box for the caretaker's number and the rent prices. But they don't look down at a window. At a queen, they are window. I'm back home, guys. I hope I provided enough information. Let me now go home and make fish. I still didn't have power so I couldn't make my baked potatoes as I had initially planned so instead I made greens and ugali to accompany the fish wet fry For the fish, once the onion is ready, I added a large amount of tomatoes and green bell peppers and before they were, they were even cooked for 3 seconds, I added garlic so that they could all cook together into a rich paste. That's the paste. My the tomatoes I used weren't they didn't cook through properly. Ama maybe I should have peeled them, I'm not sure. And when the paste was ready I transferred it into this <laughs> into this pan and still the fish didn't fit. I thought if I transferred to the pan it would fit. I think we bought such a huge fish this time round, but um this was really yummy you guys should try it i added uh some spices i added danajira i hope that's what it's called and garam masala and i also added salt i forgot to show that to you guys but uh, yes i did add that before i added the fish and i also added dania and that's the meal my boyfriend and i really enjoyed this Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you guys in the next video. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back.